Welcome back to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Each Wednesday night this month, our theme is Pets on Sets. We're bringing you a selection of movies featuring an array of animals. We've got dogs, cats, horses, lions, deer, a bear, some snakes, an orangutan, and something called a rock hydrax. Tonight, we've started things off with a lineup of dog movies. Up next, another story about a young misfit and the dog that changes his life. From 1965, Git. The story begins when a dog trainer for a wealthy California breeder is on the verge of shooting one of his dogs, an English setter named Rock. There's a theory he's been killing other animals. But just in the nick of time, a runaway orphan teenager intervenes and argues that Rock should really be used as a hunting dog. The breeder listens, and before long, both the boy and the dog get a second chance. As with two of the films we presented earlier tonight, The Adventures of Rusty and a Dog's Best Friend, Git is more than a story about a lonely and troubled boy, but also about a misunderstood dog. Git was directed, produced, and co-written by Ellis Caddison, the first of only three films he directed. Caddison more often worked as a writer for television. After this, his film debut, by the way, he went on to make another movie about the bond between a boy and an animal, not a dog, but a dangerous mountain lion, the 1966 low-budget adventure, The Cat, featuring some of the same actors who appear in Git, plus a grown-up Peggy Ann Garner in one of her final movie roles. From 1965, starring Jack Chaplin, Heather North, and Richard Webb, Git. <laughs> 